reference back on this year. Uh, today I would like to talk about uh, the creation of my video game which is called Gears of Valor and I'm going to share the whole process that I have done so far and in a separate video I will post the time lapse of my creation uh, yeah uh, let me switch the scene yeah this is the character so far I have created inside Unbound Game Engine and uh, this is the gun it's not completed yet but this is the character the character is uh, almost done and uh, I'm using a game engine called Unbound this game engine is based on SDF technology similar to Dreams it's in alpha stage but it's going to be you know completed uh, hopefully next six months a year and they will release it for public it's in alpha stage and i'm using it so far uh, i'm planning to create a video game based on gears of war my game is called gears of valor it's a fan game from gears uh, i got the idea from this youtuber uh, called king apps I guess he has good apps <laughs> something uh, based on the Gears of War lore the comics that they have created uh, I got some ideas to create my own Gears of War which, I, which I'm going to call it Gears of Valor um, maybe I changed the name but I think it's not that bad and the story is about uh, the first days of the invasion uh, we are a bunch of old gears mercenary type of soldiers and our mission is to rescue the scientist it's a very top secret mission we are going to rescue Adam Phoenix and chairman Prisco for example himself come he comes to us and asks us, you know, for to do this for them. You know, probably he's going to give us some uh, money or a submarine. I don't know what we want from him. You know, I have to think about that. But the story is that uh, invasion is started. Scientists are in their lab. Uh, they're working on a top secret uh, weapon. You know hammer of dawn and that uh, lambert thing that Adam Phoenix is creating uh, based on the story of the game scientists gather all of them will gather and go to a secret island that they create a fake uh, sonar something visual tornado that push away all of the people you know that storm to uh, avoid that place <coughs> we are going to rescue them and help them to go to that place uh, based on the law uh, the game has uh, you know i will share about the whole map and everything later on but uh, there is a river you know like witcher universe there is a Yaruga, I think was the name. If you play The Witcher, there is a big river that separates the uh, villain with Novigrad. There is also a big river in this map for Gears of Valor that we are in the other side of the river, the southern part of the uh, continent, the map, and our base is there. We have to start from that place, we go to a beach city, uh, kind of train a station then we have to go to a, a island a small island between the two continent two cities from that small island we have to go to to the secret uh, laboratory that the scientists are there probably from a secret tunnel 
we have to go and uh, secure the packages and scientists and the weapons and Rob Dawn and the technology and Adam Phoenix and the stuff. Our characters obviously know Ad, uh, Marcus Phoenix and Dom and all of the crews uh, because that this is Marcus' father, for example, we are going to accept the mission or something like that. So our mission is to go to the train station, secure the island, then go to the laboratory that scientists are there and save them, you know, bring them back to the island and help them to go to the warship, for example, or the submarine, so that they set up to that sacred island that all of the scientists will go and, according to the game, they all will die eventually at the end, but we are going to do our mission, you know. This is very top secret and obviously no one should know about this stuff. That's why the Prisco, for example, Chairman Prisco chose to tell us, you know, make a contract with us because we are mercenary old gears type of, you know, character. And uh, yeah, at the end of the game maybe they betray us or maybe we, we have a boss fight or something. Uh, I have no idea yet, but these are the plans. And uh, this sounds like a difficult game, but because I am using a game engine called Unbound, which I've already mentioned, this game engine is based on SDF technology. So it's much, much easier than typical you know, video games. And it's more possible for me to create this as a solo game developer. And they are going to add visual scripting, it works with Lua, I already watched some Lua tutorial myself, and I already made lots of stuff with Unbound. It's a, a game engine that these amazing people created this game engine. It's a, based on SCF similar to Dreams, meaning that I don't have to rig, unwrap, you know, create a scope, you know, you topologize, fix, and uh, unwrap, then bake, then start rigging, weight mapping, skinning, animating, you know, you don't have to do all of these things. With STF, you can just skip like five steps so it will save lots of time and it's way more possible based on these videos you see you can check out my youtube channel i made lots of works with dreams and unbound obviously and uh, there are so many possibilities with this game engine. You can create, you know, I made all of this myself. This is my beer and fishes for example. As you can see, it's super easy to create something with um, SPF technology, for, uh, create a final model, ready to, you know, we can create the logics and we can animate it right away right now. It's done, it's in the game engine right now. We can animate that. We can be with logics and we have created a video game, right? So, making these of valor is more possible this way than, for example, making this inside Godot or Unreal Engine. Because if I wanted to make this in Unreal Engine, uh, I had to work really hard to make something like that, right? Obviously, the game is going to be more darky adult stuff. These are cartoons just some children illustrated type of uh, artworks I made. And everything I'm sharing here are my creation. Um, but I'm just trying to show you guys that what I'm going to create is more possible it's it's not a dream or you know something like that it sounds kind of difficult but with SDF as a solo game developer it is way more possible because I can avoid all of those difficult tasks that we usually face with normal type of game engines you know this is one of my first creations in normal it's very heavy but as you can see it's already perfect you know it has textures you can create textures with SDF without doing any picture painting or graphing or anything like that. So making a video game with uh, SDF is more possible. 
That's why I'm positive that I can create this game. I'm going to show more of my creation. Generally, the illustration it really works well with Unbound. I'm really happy that I made this. I just love what I did. <laughs> uh, yeah. We can also go really dark, for example. You can create some dark scenes, uh, like Gears of War type, right away here. You know. It's very capable, it's not just children illustration and stuff. It's way more possible and you can do it. All in one game engine, all done inside Unbound without doing any crazy difficult tasks. I mean, it's, it's thing, you know, it requires hard work. It's not that easy, but it's way much, way more easier than, for example, making this stuff uh, all by yourself, you know. The typical approaches like Blender, Substance Painter, you know, ZBrush, 3D code, uh, then bringing all of them inside a uh, game engine. You can create everything you have in mind right inside the uh, Unbound itself. And it's not just a model, it's a full game engine. And it's going to be a full game engine. And you can create amazing stuff with it, right? Yeah. It's about the, the animation right now doesn't work. Kind of messed up. Then the object should be previous animation, so I cannot show the animation. Now, that's about the Unbound game engine. Let me see. My channel. Uh, yeah, I talk about the whole the game and the story of the game. And after I finish this character, I'm going to start the art book inside Krita. Uh, fortunately, I spent like five years drawing painting, so I know how to draw and paint. So I'm going to create the art book and I'm going to share my whole progress and process with you guys, gals, on my YouTube as a streams as well as. problem today. Stay to the slope. And I'm going to share the whole process uh, as a video tutorial and overview as well. It's not just going to be a streams and lives. You already can check out my live videos and uh, I stream my whole creation process and everything as well. You can watch the whole thing in real time. I have some internet problems today. I cannot show it easily but if you want to see the whole process in real time, you simply can check out my live videos. But I am going to also make video tutorials and overviews and showing my time lapses and progress and everything as, you know, digestible type of videos, sure. So you can also check out my videos. The plan for this game is that I'm going to first create this character and its guns, you know, once I am done, I will create a base level and then I will start spending my time creating the art book because I believe the art book is the most important uh, part of creating a video game in my opinion because without the good art book you won't be able to do anything special in my opinion I'm going to create the art book and the art book is going to be like the characters, the levels, the story I'm going to create the storyboards it's a very full creation you know I believe that 50% of the any creation is reference and the artwork is going to be my reference for this game and I'm going to use uh, my drawing painting knowledge hopefully also I'm planning to use some AI as the inspiration exploration stuff Leonardo AI is a good tool in my opinion because you can overpaint you know on it it can really give me some really cool ideas then I can use it as inspiration and based on the reference I can create my own drawings and paintings or I, I can overpaint photo dash for you know being fast but the plan is to create the artwork. Artwork is going to be about guns, characters, and locations, environments, and storyboards. You know, as I, for example, I'm in level one. In level one, I'm going to create anything that is about the game, right? For example, in level one, I am in a base, military base. The general, for example, that main general in Gears of War, for example, is ordering me to do that and this. Anya, for example, is there, and I'm taking orders. So. The whole thing is going to be first created in the artwork. Locations, environment, storyboards, and uh, like comic style. That this dude, King Arabs, for example, should like, you know, this sort of drawings. Obviously not as good as these, but enough so that I can get the information ideas about that. As you can see, I have 
experience in drawing paintings as well. It's not my first time. This is one of my really cool paintings I did. Uh, I paint too, so I can create the artwork. And uh, just not, you know, 3D models. So yeah, I can create the artwork, comic key for myself in the quicker stuff. Then I can go more in depth and details. I can create the characters like these with, you know, the artwork. Then explore the whole uh, environment and everything. Drawing painting random stuff because in my opinion it was stupid. Now that I have a goal, it's really going to be interesting for me because I'm going to create the, an art book for my video. So it's something that is more I'm more passionate about about this. So the art book is going to be something very powerful for me, and I'm going to share the whole process. Based on the art book, I'm going to create the rest of the levels, characters, and environment and everything. The other challenge is the obviously gameplay and the animation and the logic and everything. Uh, the logic is not really that difficult in my opinion because it's based on Lua programming and I have uh, very powerful friends here. For example, this is my uh, personal Discord. I have the developers here and I have uh, my friend Wolf for example and we have this uh, programming section for example that Wolf has very deep knowledge about uh, Lua programming for example. And I can ask my questions and you guys also can join and ask your questions about programming with Lua and Unbound. So I'm really just unsure that this is going to work and we have a uh, logic and programming inside uh, Unbound is safe and there are very professional people like uh, this dude Alex is true, he works in Ubisoft for example and you know you can learn programming here and share, I can share my progress and they can help me to fix my stuff here and uh, Unbound is safe is going to be heavily in, you know, focused next, uh, for the next updates to improve the uh, logic and programming. I mean, visual script. They are going to create a very good, a nice visual scripting system. And also the whole... They have uh, this guide for programming. All of the functions that they have created for this game is here as well. Uh, I personally read the whole thing and I kind of know how this stuff works. You know, everything about the functions is here. And I did a nerdy stuff and I studied and read the whole thing. And uh, it's not that difficult to be honest about the logic and program. And it's going to be a really fun and valuable journey for me. I, I do my best to learn this stuff. But, uh, you know, as if it is going to happen, I believe yes, this is possible because it's you all, it's easy. There are people that will help me. And uh, it's going to be also a game engine based on visual scripting as well. So it's not going to be so difficult. They also introduced an uh, animation system. So we can animate in the characters. It's not very difficult. For example, let me show you guys some books from Andrea. Uh, animation in Unbound is easy, easy peasy. And they are going to include particle system, uh, re physics, rigid body, and all of those things. Uh, animation thing in. I have a bad answer to the, uh, what's going on. But animating inside Unbound or Dreams is stiff programs they are just like linking stuff together so you don't really need to do crazy stuff like weight mapping and skinning it can look a little bad sadly you know because you can see the gap between the joints you have to find a way to avoid that but uh, yes animation is not a difficult task i would like to show you guys this probably need to fast forward this in my edit I'm not sure let me see I don't know why I have this bad internet today. Let me see if I can hit the play. As you can see, it is 
possible that it's solo game development to create something like this so easily, right? It's not impossible. SDF helps you and lets you to create stuff like this on the fly. So I'm positive my gears don't matter also, of course. So uh, after the I probably go one level. I create the art for uh, level one, then I create the three D creations in second bar for the level one. Then I work on the uh, animations logic and the characters and NPCs and everything and then uh, I go to the next level and the next level as I go. I don't know if I can really go heavy on logic and programming yet because uh, the game engine is in alpha stage and I already lost my animations for the new update so I, I don't want to for example rush it and you know try to uh, animate the characters or rig it and start creating a logic and stuff for it because uh, it is possible that I lose the whole progress for the next update so but I do like to test it to be honest but I don't go crazy with it it's just to make one animation and make some basic logic and stuff you know to be able to to be able to uh, see how it works and for example we have some logic here problems you know that's why you don't see the fish but yeah as you can see the logic works and if I select this and these are the codes some of them are scary <laughs> but UI is way more understandable than C sharp in my opinion or C plus plus or any other languages and they are going to make it visual scripting too so no worries I probably focus on the art part first then I move to logic and stuff. I do some tests with logic in my email so I do like to test it but the priority will be the art book and then creating the environment and characters and some game prototypes you know until they really nail it down for the logic and the animation then I will focus on creating the NPCs and the AI and stuff. But speaking of the AI, AI for programming also really helps to create stuff. So I probably will edit what I, you know, talked here because I think I bored you guys to death. 30 minutes already. Mumbling, mumbling stuff. Now let me show you the creation of this character. This is the character that I started from. I created a mannequin, a puppet, and uh, I can use these puppets for other creations as well you know you don't have to uh, you know you can use this and basic stuff for other creations as well there are other approaches for example to create fast characters in unbound by you know turning a shape this and then uh, you can hover over the vertices and right hold right click and hold it and drag you know you can create a stuff like this so it means I can create like very fast characters I can kind of what they call it in English 3D kit bash or something I can create characters super fast super easy this way then I can you know edit the spline and everything I'm planning to create uh, something like a bird here, you know? It's easy peasy. As a base, then I can edit it. It's up to you that how you want to go, you know? You can then copy this, paste this.
mortgage here. I've never seen like that. See, I've, I've made it better. It's so addict, addicting. I I can forget the whole time and everything. <laughs> I don't know why the escape didn't follow, but as you can see, it is. Possible that we are, we can create. Quick characters. Then, um, we can go to the re repeats, repeats, repeat, blend, blending these together. You know. Then we can come here and scope the whole thing. We can come here and uh, make it better, right? We can create fast character this way, as you can see. Then it's a base for you know more in-depth characters and scope and everything. Or you can go like that. You can go basic shapes and uh, build your characters this way when I made this this feature wasn't around right this feature wasn't around and I didn't know that I could do this stuff or it wasn't around if I knew about this or if it was around I probably used this technique because it was much faster and easier. Sadly, there is no cut tool right now inside Unbound that I can cut, like similar to Dreams. So you have to separate this yourself. But you know, we we'll start like this. Now I'm going to show you guys the video uh, I've made. It is three hours time lapse. I'm going to fast forward this and explain the whole thing. Uh, as you can see, I just started based on the references, and these are the references. You know, as if you, can you see, for example, these tools. This is the place, kind of like magnetic holster they call it in English you know I've made this here you, you can put your gun here the reason I, uh, the resolution is low because I, it's a game character and if I put the whole thing up we are going to reach the maximum memory and the memory for now is 2 gigabytes so I have to keep it low you know, as I said, everything is reference. Reference is everything. Um, for this basic character, I didn't have to draw it myself. There are already perfect examples. So I use this, for example, to create this character. As you can see. Now let's back to the video, see the whole thing. And I was watching some big bits of our videos as well. These are more fan made stuff. So yeah, the, we are making the head. I will post the whole thing separately. You don't want to watch three hours time lapse yet. Yeah, uh, I was keep making and thinking and fixing and you know, based on the reference and the look and how I wanted these to look and feel all SDF techniques and inside the Unbound game engine and then I started 
keep continuing making this other part of the body. The armor was cool and challenging. try to also enable those blue lights uh, for the you know the, the famous blue lights that they have on their armor I also tried some splats these splats you know can give some extra textures I'm going to try them at the end of the game depends on how much also they take memory uh, the important thing is that you shouldn't really touch the lighting. If you touch and change the lighting here, the end character is not going to be the same in another lighting. So you have to go like overcast, studio lighting, no harsh shadows or do not play with the, for example, saturation or anything. Saturation inside, for example, on but by saturation, I mean don't go to this environment or camera and don't play with the contrast, saturation, anything like that, or blacks and vibrance, bloom, exposure, nothing. It should be default by the default, you know, because you want to get a true color. If you change this, the actual character looks something different. And when you put this into different levels, it doesn't look right. You know, the textures are off. You don't want that. So go with the studio light. And uh, something cool about this that I'm going to animate this. I came to with this idea that this can be used as a health bar. Let me see. space is going to show you the house bar just some, something just came up you know randomly it was nice <clears throat> I can use this as a health bar but uh, I'm not 100% sure if I can animate inside the scope we will see but if it is possible that would be really cool I have to tell the developers Anyways, uh, let's get back to the video here. So yeah, I just kept adding new stuff as spline and everything. If you don't know anything about Un Unbound, I have a 8 hours video tutorial and so many time lapse about Unbound itself. If my crappy internet shows it. In this video you can see that you can animate this stuff. But being that said, I have made tutorials about Unbound. You can find it in my channel. My internet connection is not good today. I don't know what is going on. But 
Uh, I have a let's see eight hours tutorial about unbound. So you can learn the stuff that I mean it's a little old. They updated lots of stuff but it's good enough you know it's good enough and yeah that was the tutorial yes this is it I have created a tutorial series complete guide to unbound game engine for modeling so it's almost eight hours you can learn stuff here and also the time lapse here I, I've made lots of time lapses here as well so if you don't know about the unbound you simply can watch this and learn quite enough and uh, they changed unbound so far they added lots of uh, updates but still it's valid and you can learn from it it's not changed a lot Anyway, back to the creation. Yes, uh, I am creating the armor and adding those famous blue lights, as you can see. Uh, I fixed the lighting here. That's why the lighting there and here are kind of are different. Uh, I've learned that I shouldn't really touch the environment lighting and the camera and stuff because the final model in different levels will look different this is the natural lighting and I can change these as I want later on as you can see this is too much here but I'll fix that so anyways I just added more and more fixed the arm added more shapes to create the arm you know, as I was making, I also uh, I was asking questions. And stuff. There is a tool in Unbound that you can use. Repeat, repeat is very interesting tool. Uh, I could use this, but at the end, uh, it wasn't that much helpful for this particular uh, model. This is strap. I can show you about the usage of repeat for example here i made a knife for a character and for this indication they call it i think i have to unlike this one unlike it Yes, and if I go to the to this model to the scope mode and select edit, as you can see, the repeat is very helpful. You can play with it, and you can repeat. create more indication and stuff you can change the whole thing the whole direction and the whole look you know yeah I just wanted to show you guys the repeat that I used it several times but not for the straps and I didn't know about repeat that time but even if I knew about repeat it wouldn't really help me to achieve what I wanted I had to go with the hard way it's blind anyways yeah I was watching videos soon I've made all of these I don't want to bore you guys to death. Um, the whole process is there. 
Sometimes it's, it can be nerdy and repetitive, frustrating, time consuming, but uh, so as the typical sculpting stuff with Blender or ZBrush is really good. You, you, there is no escape here. The color problem is the compression from the game engine, by the way. If you see the colors don't blend and stuff, it's because of the compression that they made for the engine, for the optimization and stuff. They probably will fix it. Yeah, these new techniques I was trying, as I showed you, for kind of like a smear technique inside dreams very helpful but didn't really work for this particular one that much I, you, I had to edit it later so yeah um, I just kept adding 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 stuff based on the design that's why I said 50% of the job is you know uh, the reference I used the repeat feature here to create this um, protection for the armpit it wasn't perfect but it was much faster than using the spline to be honest so I felt really good using that and the, the proportion and the anatomy I also later on uh, tried to fix that uh, as you can see right now it's not so good for the pelvis area but later I fix that area as well and I, as I was making all of these things, I was uh, also focusing on the memory and the resolution as well because you, your work would crash if I was putting everything at high resolution and it's not going to work. And uh, all of these greenies and flash bangs and extra stuff based on the design. And then I decided to change the colors, make them look better and badass and everything like that. Sorry, I'm just fast forwarding because, you know, it takes lots of time. And uh, for the trouser, they call it in English for the pants, uh, I lowered the resolution as much as I could, lower it down as much as I could in the lowest possible and it creates some sort of uh, cloth, you know, and it looks nice in my opinion. If, so the low resolution itself can be used as a visual and modeling feature, you know. It's not just about saving memory. If you lower down something, it is easier, you know, to create a cloth with lower resolution, as you can see. If I was increasing the resolution for the pants, uh, I think it's called trouser. Let me just see this word, I don't want to repeat. Trouser. Yeah, yes, I guess I'm right. For the trouser, if you lower down the resolution, you can get some sort of cloth, you know, feelings with folds and everything. If you bring it to high resolution, it's going to look kind of weird. So it's a good technique. Then again, I keep kept continuing the whole thing. And made more armors and everything try to 
keep it as low as possible and optimize for the game. I made this uh, holder, holster they call it I think in English, let's see. I was going to make it like a cowboy style but based on the design from Gears of War as you can see, you guys see uh, Yeah, the whole set is some sort of magnetic in Gears of War, which is a cool thing, you know. Saves lots of time for me as well. So I made something like this, representing to this. I couldn't really find any better angles unless I was playing the game. Yeah. Then the shoes, I tried to make the shoes interesting as low as possible as well uh, if they improve the memory this is going to be better and this is the creation of the knife in Gears of War they didn't use knife you know um, until Dom killed the queen with his knife but in the game uh, you don't use your knife but I'm planning to make that happen why not I spend lots of time making it why not It's a challenge, but I guess that's okay. And the repeat technique here also really helps, as you can see. It's very helpful. Let me see the. Famous YouTube. This channel is good for some ambient music, so I'm using it. Hopefully, don't see any more advertisement. So yeah, uh, this is the shoes. All of them are separated, and I'm going to rig them later on. Uh, what can I say? This is the whole process and the overview of creating this character. Took me like 10 hours to make this. Could could take me like weeks in ZBrush and 3D Code or Blender to be honest. Yeah, that's it with this character and with this video. Probably change the color of this as well. The color here looks a little too much. Yeah, something like that maybe. It was it wasn't really in in harmony with other areas, so I think. It's good that I've changed this to a new color. What is this? Here's the valley. Alright. Projects. Do I have more stuff? No. Thank you. I see. Yeah. Uh, for a video game character inside Unbound, as a indie game, I think it looks okay. I can increase the resolutions later on, but so far it's just taking less than two megabytes from you know two gigabytes memory. I mean two percent, I think. I don't know the definition of percentage here. 
from 100 is taking less than 2% of memory so I can create like as many as of these guys like 10 of these in a level and we still are in a good situation uh, probably each character is going to be like 5% memory and we can add like 5 characters like Gears of War or something and for each scene we can add like 10 or 5 locusts and the rest is the environment and everything we can really push it later on but this is it so far this is the base character that I'm going to keep bash and make the other characters with it and obviously the guns I really spent quite a time making this gun and it's not completed yet uh, once this is also done I'm going to share the whole process of how I made this happen I think I need to fix this area I don't like it more curvy better yeah I'm going to share the creation of this gun the famous chainsaw rifle in Gears of War I also brought this hand as a, a scale guide to help me to you know make it based on the character because you are going to animate this later on uh, so yeah hopefully next week uh, and this week I'm going to continue making this uh, model and share the process with you guys this is kind of my very first video tutorials me talking and everything I hope uh, it was good enough I have spent kind of like less than one hour talking and uh, I probably need to edit <laughs> this video a lot I missed some stuff but this was the whole process and I hope it was informative and useful you always can join uh, my discord and I'm going to share the link and you always can join unbound discord don't forget to subscribe Hit the like and my phone doesn't want me to hit the like and uh, turn on the notification because I'm going to share my project and the whole creation of a video game here and I think this is really different from other game developers because they create tutorials teaching how to make a game I'm sharing my journey of making a video game and all of the challenges and everything it's an actual game and uh, inside unbound game engine so all of the challenges ups and downs and mistakes and stuff that i have learned along the way is going to be shared here both on lives and uh, tutorials so yeah, I, I hope it was informative and thank you for watching. Bye for now.